government is targeting to increase uh, fish production 30 times to 100,000 metric tons over the next one year through promotion of commercialized aquaculture. The venture is powered by 15 billion shilling financial support from the Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, that will be invested in 15 target counties. Fisheries Principal Secretary Professor Nisheni Ntiba says the project is a revival of the fish farming project under the collapsed economic stimulus package that was ruled out in 2009. Kenya saw fish production steadily increase from a mere 2,000 metric tons to 70,000 metric tons after the rollout of the economic stimulus package in 2009. This was mainly from fish ponds in parts of the country. However, fish production has since dropped to 3,000 tons after aquaculture funding dried up. Now the government is targeting to increase this by more than 30 times to 100,000 metric tons in a year thanks to a 15 billion shillings financing from the Fund for Agricultural Development. The International Fund for Agricultural Development uh, stated in Rome and the Kenyan government to commercialize aquaculture farming in 15 counties. Professor Ntiba says plans for the commercial fish production targeting 15 counties are in efforts to reduce reliance on natural water ecosystem that are increasingly becoming unsustainable. Fish is big business. It's big commodity for trade. It's material for industrial development. It's material that will grow jobs and wealth in this country. The initiative is to encourage more farmers to venture into aquaculture for job creation, food security, and boosting nutritional requirements. It's the science involved, there's the technology involved. We require quality fingering our level internationally accredited fish quality laboratories here. We have a laboratory here in Kisumu. We are coming to open it very soon. We have the other one in Nairobi. Because Kakamega, Migori, Homa Bay, Nyeri, Kirinyaga and Meru are the six counties that have already rolled out the program. The PSA's nine more counties are expected to do so in the next two weeks.